Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you about some extra options when you're working with angular dimensions in a sketch. Let's begin by creating a couple lines and a center line. Something like this. Now, when I apply an angular dimension and I hold down the shift key, I can dimension the full angle. See? When I release the shift key and move the mouse a little, I'll dimension the half angle. Once again, let's press down the mouse and move. Here we go, the full angle. Let's enter a value of 60 degrees. Click Accept. What's also new is that SolidWorks remembers the last type of dimension I applied. It was angular, and I used the center line. So this time, when I try to create another dimension, SolidWorks assumes I want an angular dimension as well. To exit the angular dimension, you just press Escape on your keyboard. And now we can apply, for example, a linear dimension. Let's click Accept. And this concludes our video about new options when working with angular dimensions in SolidWorks 2015.